Intersex is a general term that is given to human beings who do not fall into the social, the gender social categories that is male and female. Meaning, who only the genes that monna let them say. With in, with um, intersex people, it's it's a mixture of chromosomes. Being intersex is somebody that is born with ambiguous genitalia. Sometimes it's not a physical thing that you can see, which most people think that it is. I get, but it's internally itself. So your chromosomes is not just this, the standard X Y, and this uh, what do they say? It's a combustion explosion of magical things. For people to actually know that they're intersex, uh, it's very difficult because some people don't have physical characteristics. So finding that information out is kind of like uh, non-existent. And even when you have found that information, knowing where to go is also another problem um, to get support, that is. What affects the intersex people in Africa is that the general public is not educated about intersex and therefore that causes a lot of discrimination against the community. Even the system itself don't give you know, room for such conversations to happen, which is a challenge and it leads to a lot of you know, misinformed decisions being made by parents and society as a well. whole. I haven't received any kind of support from my family and that is probably because they do not know how to approach me with what they know, which I strongly believe is little information um, and again my family is very traditional they don't know how to create a platform to actually talk about issues of gender and sex and so forth most of the support like I think most of the people out there that are intersex we are finding it online with online communities and we're getting to know people but from your family itself it's not something that gets raised and it's like it's happening but it's not there, it's like the elephant in the room. Everybody knows about it, but everybody tries not to notice it. Papa Gash, he's against it. Because he said that he was going to die. 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 Well, to be honest, the support that I have received from my family is, let's say, 40% because it's a topic that we don't speak about, um, because they don't feel comfortable talking about the issue. They just feel that, okay, it's done and dusted and life needs to happen. However, which is a challenge for me because I need answers. Advice I would give to parents of intersex children is that they need to actually get as much information about their child's condition before making any decision and they do not have to make decisions for their children. And they need to understand that it's not a disorder, it's not a sickness, it's not a disease. Your child is just made differently. Listen to your child, did your child listen to their body and then make decisions based on their future. And it's important for the parent to actually be informed before they inform the child. South <laughs> Africa. We are here as intersex people and we exist and there is nothing wrong with us. We are actually human beings like anybody else and we are trying to just live a normal life. And I would like um, the, the term intersex when it gets mentioned, I don't want to see a shock in people's face. I want it to be the norm because for me, it's my life and it's the norm for me. We've accepted ourselves and we're just waiting for South Africa to come to the party. My vision for the Intersex Awareness Month is that a lot of intersex people need to come out and make themselves available. Uh, and not just not do anything extraordinary, just give information so that the entire country is actually educated about being intersex. Um, it's for families of intersex children to unite as well and share stories because we go through the same struggles but kids do not have anybody to speak to. <laughs> My vision, like I've mentioned, would be that as the intersex community, for us to come out, 
and be ourselves and speak about intersex issues and for us to reach to those communities that are still in the you know afraid to come out because of the stigma and the discrimination that are, they're scared to face and for us to be there and support and educate